Grand Mice, it's time to unite. Today I'm going out to Walmart, getting a few things done. And uh, I wanted to vlog a little bit, let you guys know what's up. It's Monday, and uh, I'm so glad it's Monday. <laughs> I really don't like weekends at all. But um, today I'm going out to Walmart, like I said, I'm going out to eat. And, and um, later on this week, I'll be seeing a movie. Um, I know a lot of people have mixed reviews about uh, Suicide Squad, but I have been looking forward to this movie for a long time, and I'll be giving you my review um, on it later this week after I've seen it. I'm not seeing it until Wednesday, so it'll be a few days. But even so, I'm going to be seeing it and let you guys know my thoughts on the matter. Because, um, I don't know. Um, to me, I think the movie's going to make sense because um, the anti-heroes, as they call themselves, um, they don't need an agenda to do what they do. Um, sure, they might have a reason uh, to be... Uh, the Suicide Squad, and I'll find out that during the movie, you know, what the plot line is, and I'm sure it has something to do with, uh, you know, doing something that someone else doesn't want to do, <laughs> and that's usually the case when, um, when, uh, they do movies like this, so we'll have, we'll have to wait and see, um, So yeah, um, I'll be getting, getting some uh, new window blinds for the house uh, at Walmart, and uh, I'll probably be looking at movies and stuff like that. Um, I might buy it later on. Um, stuff like that, so. And then I'll be going to uh, Pete's Works uh, today. I need to check up and see what the status is on the on the menu that they're putting in um, because it is imperative we get these menu changes done and it's taking its own sweet time because I keep finding little nuances of things that need to be changed and stuff as we go along you know, uh, I wish I could dedicate a full day of just playing around, you know, with the register and everything, making sure that um, everything's uh, there or what changes need to be made, but that's just not the case. It's just going to have to be, be uh, piecemeal f for the time being. Um, So that's my morning. Um, I haven't really decided what else I'm going to do, although I might go to High B and and get some more Uncle Bob's ice cream. Um, dude, I'm telling you what, man. I, uh, Uncle Bob's ice cream is like my kryptonite, man. I, I just can't, I can't stay away from it. But I gotta admit, though, with as much ice cream as I've had of his, um, my recent blood test um, that you know that my doctor's done has got him so pleased that he's thinking about taking me off certain medications. So if that doesn't uh, say say much, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what will. You know. So I'm kind of proud of, 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 of myself, um, I'm doing good, um, I didn't think I would be able to go back to diet sodas, but ever since they took out aspartame from, from diet Pepsi, I've been all over drinking that, you know, um, I just think I like 
the, the taste of the, the Splenda that's in it instead. Um, because I don't really care for some of the diet drinks that has aspartame in it. Uh, I think it has a really just weird and off taste and and um, I know I know soda companies are trying their best to to make their products you know taste as best as they can you know with sugar substitutes and and I think they've been doing a, a great job of that um, I still drink diet sodas even when I go out places that don't have diet Pepsi so um, like um, I know a diet Pepsi has aspartame in it but I only have that um, every every so often you know there's places that I go that has coke and I had no choice but to drink that or coke zero but either way they still have the aspartame in it but um, it's not like I have a lot of it so um, in that case I, I'm okay with it but my diet choice at home has always been and always will be diet Pepsi because of the new and no after aspartame and I know they're bringing back classic diet for the aspartame hoarders as I call them you know I have to have my aspartame well guess what it's coming back classic diet Pepsi is coming back and you'll be able to have your aspartame you know, um, but I'm glad that Pepsi is sticking with their guns and leaving the aspartame out of the the new uh, Diet Pepsi formulation. So I'm sticking to that. You guys have your aspartame if you want to, but I don't want it. And it's just a personal preference. I think uh, I don't know. Like I said, I think aspartame tastes weird. It doesn't remind you of the original cola at all. They've tried to do their best, kind of like um, Pepsi Max, you know, for example. Pepsi Max uh, does taste a lot like regular Pepsi, uh, even though it's still uh, a diet soda and um, has aspartame in it. It still tastes like Diet Pepsi. Um, I can't really say the same for Coke Zero, though. Um, I think that tastes off also with the aspartame in it. And I think, and I think Coke should embrace that, you know, and make a diet soda that doesn't have aspartame in it. And before you say anything, I know they make Diet Coke with Splenda, and that does not have the aspartame in it, but they never had full packs on sale anywhere. I always have to pay four dollars or more for a 12 pack when, um, I just missed Walmart. Um, I'm about to Walmart, so I'm gonna end this vlog. I gotta get this alarm off anyway. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, Grandmites. I am out of here at Pizza Works. And I am on my way to Hy-Vee to see if they have any ice cream. Well, I know they have ice cream, but I want cotton candy. La, 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 la. Uncle Boss ice cream. It's so worth it. So yeah, um, here. War Memorial. To get to High V, I gotta go down here and hit on Sheridan. Go to the Sheridan Village location. 
anyway, the reason why I went to Pizza Works is not only to eat, but I had to check and see if they made any changes to their new POS system, which they still have it. So, you know, as you know, probably it's frustrating because I don't know how busy the other person is or whatever, but there's some stuff on there that I can't do. We'll figure out how to change because stuff isn't right and I need it corrected. And for the life of me, I could not figure out why it's doing what it's doing. But, um, but as I was there, I, we decided to uh, go over to Best Buy. You know, Gary took me over and got a laptop so that he could program his new electronic sign he put out on the side of the building. So they can, they can promote stuff like their uh, buffet and, and uh, Thursday Night Stage and whatever uh, in the moment uh, special that they have. So that's cool. Um, but I have a feeling I'll be running all of it just like I have been uh, so far. Because Gary's afraid to touch technology like. I can't believe he has an iPhone. The things, they have a learning curve on them that, that I refuse to even, I refuse to even try to learn. I hate Apple with a, with a passion. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, if they didn't have smartphones yet, and they had, you know, iPhones, I'd rather stick with a flip phone or something like that than get a, get a freaking iPhone. So I'm glad they have Androids out now because Androids are so much better. So much better. I hate all the proprietary BS that they, that they put in, in, in iPhones and, and then they charge an arm and a leg for for everything, you know, for their accessories, for their phones, and then they keep putting out new ones like every year. Who wants to pay, shell out thousands of dollars, you know, and new, and new stuff every year or every other year? It does not make sense. I mean, probably it wouldn't be so bad if Apple came out with just the iPhone and they came out with a new cell phone like like you know every year or or what have you but you know here they are they keep putting out new tablets new, new iPhones and stuff like that with mediocre uh, updates that somehow gets people absolutely thrilled that they can go out and buy I think it's a waste of time and money Apple, I hate you. I hate you with a passion. You can get me to to have a hands on one. I wouldn't be able to, to help anybody with an Apple try to figure their phone out. And I could care less if if it makes me look bad. Apple can kiss my ass. Anyway, I'm here at Hy-Vee. And I'll see you in a bit. All right, Grandmaster, we're back again. Believe it or not. So I was. Oh. Come on. I was just at High V. I'm actually leaving there now. I'm trying to. Anyway, I'm just leaving High V. Man, I tell you what, I was fortunate today. I found two quarts of cotton candy. And I have never been able to find just one for that. That matters a lot of the time. So <clears throat> I'm so glad I got two of them. 
one for me, one for my brother. So. <clears throat> Man, I tell you what, I'm full. I think I ate too much over the weekend, and, and I think it just piled it on today. <clears throat> With the, the buffet that pizza works in. I don't know. <clears throat> I gotta get rid of this food or else I'm not gonna be able to do Aurelius tomorrow like I wanna do. But I thought I would do a vlog. Let you guys know what's up. <coughs> Suicide Squad on Wednesday. I'll give you my review in my next vlog if I don't <coughs> do another vlog before then. Go oh, home, put my ice cream in the freezer. We'll call it good. Go home and get back online, do some more gaming. I'm getting in construction now. I'm going to end this vlog.